What do Larry Summers, the former CEO of Morgan Stanley, John Mack, and Google all have in common? They think that more and more consumers will want to cut out banks and credit card companies and lend directly to each other. They've all jumped into the business of Lending Club, an online peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. Here's how it works. If you need a loan, you go to the website and fill out an application, just like you would at a normal bank. But it's not the bank lending you money. Instead, the funds come from direct investors. As you pay back the loan, these investors make a return. And it all happens at a lower cost than traditional banks. We spoke with the founder and CEO, Renaud Laplanche, about the process. So we are, we're focusing really on prime and super prime consumers. So they're, they're not coming to us because they would be declined at a bank. They're, they're coming to us to get a better deal than they're getting from, from their bank. And most investors choose to invest in hundreds or thousands of loans. And we make it easy for them to do that uh, by providing a portfolio building tool. Uh, so that they can invest, they can take a small fraction of thousands of loans uh, in a very short period of time. This is obviously an, a niche you've made more than two billion dollars of loans so far. What keeps the banks from just mimicking this? I mean, why why don't they just go ahead and figure out a way to do it themselves? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you, you've seen that uh, over and over again in the history of technology-based innovation. Uh, it's typically been very hard for the incumbent to drive costs down and adopt new technology and, and remove all the legacy systems and legacy cost structure down to the level of a technology innovator. Um, so bookstores have not been able to replicate Amazon and travel agents have not been replicate, able to replicate Priceline. So you see your lending club as the Amazon of, of consumer the credit. world. That's right. And the goal at the end of the day is really to, to serve our customers um, as well as possible and, and offer all types of credit products. Credit cards. Including credit cards, student credit loans. Credit cards, um, student loans, Auto loans, uh, mortgages at, at some point. So wow. really the entire range of, of credit products. And, and we're, we're seeking to transform the banking system, but we, we're also associating the banks to that transformation. And uh, we now have banks investing on our platform and partnering with us. During the credit crisis, the time leading up to it, we saw the banks take these loans off their books, securitize them. What percentage of the loans that you are made through your platform are actually held by Lending Club? Mm -hmm. So um, the, the, the loans are not technically held by us because, because we are a marketplace and so investors are funding the loans and, and uh, really getting the economics for the loans. But, but what's really important to, uh, to understand is uh, these are not these sort of opaque pools of loans that get securitized and sliced many different ways, uh, like it happened during the financial crisis. In our case, there's a one-to-one -one relationship between the loans and the capital. The capital comes up front to us and we make the loans and then we sell the loans back to the investors. Um, and, uh, and, and so there's a lot of transparency in the process. So investors can decide to apply their own credit policy or their own uh, uh, filter on what specific loans we would like to buy or what specific type of loans. And, and, and the more important item is we're keeping the entire chain of customer touch point in-house. So we, we originate the loans, we price, underwrite the loans, and we service these loans. Uh, so there's really full, full accountability on, on Lending Club um, and, and full ability to manage that customer relationship.